Hey, what's up guys? My name is Faison and in this video, I will be going over how you can choose the best wheels for your Science Olympiad Gravity Vehicle. Before we get into the video, please be sure to leave a like if you enjoy it, drop any questions or feedback or even video ideas in the comments down below, and please consider subscribing to the channel because I post new videos about Science Olympiad every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. And with that out of the way, let's get right into the video. If you want to choose the best possible wheels for your Science Olympiad gravity vehicle, then there's one key concept you need to understand and that is rotational inertia. And put simply, rotational inertia is the amount of energy it takes to simply rotate an object around its axis. And to make your car more efficient and produce better results, you're going to want to reduce the amount of rotational inertia that your wheels have, and that will reduce the amount of energy you need to waste on rotating your wheels. So right now you see a you see five different wheels that I have laid out and I'm going to go through the benefits and drawbacks of each individual wheel so that hopefully you can be better informed when you're trying to use the right wheels for your gravity vehicle. So make sure you stay tuned until the end. So the first key concept that I really want to talk about is weight. And I know that in previous videos, we said that it's good to optimize or maximize the amount of weight of your car for your gravity vehicle so that you have more energy going down the ramp and you ultimately go faster. However, it's important to notice that, or to note that you want to have the weight in the right place. You don't want to put the weight on the wheels because you're losing, firstly, you're losing the amount of energy you have in the optimal center of gravity space. But also, when your wheels weigh more, the amount of rotational energy it takes to move your, or rotate your wheel increases. So if we look at the super big wheel right here, which is four inches and seven, four and seven eighths of an inch in diameter, compared to this one, which is two and seven eighths inches in diameter, compared to this one, which is two and three eighths inch, uh, excuse me, inches in diameter, this wheel obviously is going to be much heavier and the exact weight of this wheel is between 50 to 80 grams. I don't quite remember, but it's between that. This wheel is a little bit lighter. It's roughly around 20 to 30 grams. And this one is roughly around 10 to 12 grams. So this wheel is gonna take a lot more energy to move compared to this one. So you're going to be losing some energy that could, be, that could have gone towards the vehicle's speed or other factors that you're trying to consider. So making sure that your wheels are as light as possible is something that you want to, uh, want to consider. Now, if we look at a wheel like this foam wheel, yeah, this wheel is extremely light. Like this wheel is under five grams. But should you use a wheel this light for your gravity vehicle? Probably not. This is pretty thin plastic, and yeah, while it could be a good wheel for a mousetrap car, having a car that weighs almost two kilograms might destroy this wheel. And here in a few minutes, we're going to talk about other things that will affect what, what wheel you should choose. But firstly, you should know that reducing the weight of the wheel is good, but you shouldn't take it to the extreme level. Now wheel diameter is a little bit tricky because it can be addressed in two different ways depending on how you want to go about it. You can either reduce the weight of your, or excuse me, the diameter of your wheels and doing so will allow your wheels or your car to go a little bit faster because it takes less, uh, it goes a further, excuse me, it takes, it goes a uh, shorter distance for every rotation so it rotates a little bit faster. While in comparison, a larger wheel will go a farther distance per rotation, so it will take longer for each rotation of this wheel. So if you want to go faster, you want to go for smaller wheels, and if you want to go farther, you go for the larger wheels. But you don't want to go so large like this big wheel right here. You probably never have to use something this big simply because you don't need to make your car so thin. 
And using a wheel this big is only going to hurt you in the long run because they weigh so much and you're not getting that much benefit out of it compared to using something like this. That is, yeah, it's a little bit bigger and it's a little bit heavier, but it's not going to take away from the entire experience of your vehicle. And the final thing we're going to talk about is the thickness and grip of your vehicle. So if you look at this green, these two green wheels I have here and I stand them up, this tiny wheel has a thickness, whoops, it's rolling away, hold on, this wheel has a thickness that is roughly half the thickness of this wheel right here. So essentially, if we're talking about stability, this smaller wheel has less stability compared to this larger wheel because there's less contact between the wheel and the ground. So if you want your wheels to be more stable and make your car go straighter, you're going to want to opt into something with a larger thickness. Now, if you look at the, this wheel right here, it's a little bit misleading to how thick the contact between the wheel and the uh, ground is. So right now it looks like it's about the thickness, whoops, it looks like it's about the thickness of this small green wheel right here. But if you look at it more closely, it has a circular bezel to the, uh, to the outer wheel. And what that does is it makes the contact between the wheel and the ground super thin. So you're not getting too much stability with your gravity vehicle if you use something with this thin, this thin of a contact. Now, if we talk, talk about grip, you notice this orange wheel I had earlier. And what this orange wheel is, it's, it's a little bit more sturdy. Oh, that one's rolling away too. It's a little bit more sturdy at the cost of grip. So these green wheels have a little bit more grip and will stop your, stop your wheels from slipping a little bit. Oh, now this one's rolling away. It, stop, it stops your car from still rolling away, or whatever. Okay, it's, it, <laughs> okay this uh, orange wheel will have more durability but less grip compared to this one right here. This one will have more grip but less durability. So, this, so having more grip, or in, more grip will help you with, from, uh, from your car um, accidentally slipping and skidding when it stops. And another thing you could do if you are using wheels like this that don't have this rubber adhesive on it, or you can use balloons. Cut a, cut a balloon into a little bit of a ring and put that on here and you should be good to go. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to leave a like. If you want to learn more about this topic, make sure you hit the first link in the description and that'll take you to a website I made covering this exact topic in a little bit more detail. Also, if you have any questions, feedback, or video ideas, make sure you leave those in the comments. Follow me on social media. My Instagram page will be right here, where you can find the links to all of my pages in the description as well. And finally, please consider subscribing to the channel because I post new videos about Science Olympiad every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. And with that said, I'll catch you guys next time. Stay unfazed.